Hi everyone, welcome to Greekish Outdoors. Today is the start of planting a whole new woodland here at our field in Greece. So, stick around. This is a bird's eye view of our field. Here I've highlighted the border and the little woodland at the end. It's not a uniform shape, but it's approximately 104 by 105 meters. But using actual measurements, we can calculate the field is approximately 10,000 square meters. So for quite a while now, I've wanted to plant a lot more trees here in this field. Originally, the family planted loads of chestnut trees, but unfortunately, many of them did die. And now I'd like to fill in those gaps with a variety of different trees. So this eventually will be a nice mixed woodland, including trees like mulberry, maybe some apples, I'm going to put some laurels in here, and a few more in between. Now in here there are a few chestnut trees that will be kept in. Some of them have not started sprouting yet, so I will have to see whether some of them do recover. But many of these chestnut trees have been in here for at least two to three years now, I think, at least. And right at the bottom of the field over there is the little woodland where I've shown you in the past. This is going to be a gradual process over the next few weeks as of course buying all these little saplings and trees is going to cost quite a bit of money. Planting all these trees of course is going to be good for the environment, it's going to be good for the local area, good for us and leaves a little legacy for my family in the future. So on this glorious day we start day one of the planting process. I have seven trees I need to plant today. Five of these are laurels or Laurus nobilis. You may know them better as the bay tree or the bay laurel. Are evergreen trees or bushes. They actually originate in the Mediterranean and have had lots of different uses in human history, including as a herb and a spice. You may have seen dried bay leaves in the past and they are used in things like Italian pasta sauces and also when they're dried and ground up can be used in cocktails such as the Bloody Mary. The next tree to plant is this lilac or Syringa vulgaris. This is the common lilac and it's a flowering plant of the olive family. These have beautiful purple flowers in springtime and is a really nice decorative tree. The purple flowers produced are actually edible and can be used to flavour things such as sweets and honey. The last tree to plant today is this large mulberry tree from the genus Morus. Now unfortunately I don't know the actual species of mulberry this one is. I'll have to find that out at a later date. Now mulberry trees are deciduous and they are found all over the world and in fact when they are young they grow pretty fast which is good for us. They can grow up to 24 meters and of course the fruit in small quantities is edible. So that's a little bit of information about the trees I'm going to be planting here today. Right, let's get the shovel out and get planting. Thank you. 
Right, so day two, and we've got three more trees to plant. We need to water the ones I planted the other day. And also, hopefully I've got time to create a wild flower bed, which will help the local bees. Anyway, let's crack on. Now I've got to plant two cypress trees, or Caprisus sempervirens. These are coniferous evergreen trees, and they can grow up to a maximum height of 35 meters. These trees are native to the Mediterranean region, and some studies have shown it has some medicinal properties. However, for this field, we really want it for its ability to grow tall and provide shade. Cypress trees live a very very long time with some trees living up to a thousand years old. In addition to the cypress trees I also have another laurel to plant today. Right, I'm having a little break. I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed and liked the video and all your comments. It really means a lot to me. If you do want to support the channel and help me keep making these videos and maybe help me plant in more trees, there are links of how you can support me in the comment section of every video I put up. Anyway, thanks very much. Back to the video. What I haven't shown you in this video is me walking up and down, documenting every single chestnut tree that is still alive. I've been up and down this field several times, counting all the trees manually, checking each one, making sure they're alive or dead, if they have any buds on, if they're rotten at the roots, and it's taken me a long time. To try and count all the existing trees in the field, I created a grid system which had 18 rows and 16 columns, and where there is a live tree, or what I thought was a live tree, I placed a C in the grid, as you can see here. Then I laid that grid system over the map of the actual field itself. Then I replaced the lettering with colors which are coordinated with the key at the side. Here you can see I removed the actual grid so you can see the dots clearer. I had to slightly adjust the position of the dots from the grid to the actual positions that I saw on the ground itself and then eventually I overlaid that onto the actual photograph of the field from above. But now you can see a fairly accurate picture of all the trees that are in this field now. One little bonus I found was that near the little hut, as you can see at the bottom of the property, there is a yellow circle which I believe from speaking to a local is a damson tree. I'm hoping in a year or so's time we should get some fruit off that and hopefully make some delicious damson jam. Right so that's the end of episode one of this series of planting a new little woodland. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Keep your eye out for future episodes when we should be planting more trees, planting flowers and maintaining the trees that are already here. But for now thanks for watching, take care, much love, see you next time.